Good morning, Oakwood Huskies. This is Mrs. Sotelo. Wednesday, November 11th is a special day in our country where we pay tribute to veterans all over the world that have given the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. My own father, Douglas Stern, served in the military as a Marine and spent much of his life dedicated to helping veterans. To all veterans of all branches from our Oakwood community, we want to say thank you for your sacrifice, your bravery, and the example you set for all of us. In short, thank you for your service. To all those who have served and those who continue to serve, Happy Veterans Day. Veterans are fascinating people. They are in the military. Veterans serve our country. We celebrate Veterans Day on November 11. Thank you to my papa and my daddy for, for um, serving. serving in the military. Hey, this is Mr. Ward. Uh, I'm thankful for the veterans that I know. Uh, there are a number of my family members. Uh, both of my grandfathers were in the Navy. I have two cousins that were both in the Navy. Uh, and I have a picture here today of my father-in-law who was also in the Navy. Uh, and I'm very thankful for the service they've given our country and the things that they uh, did for us so that we can have the freedoms and protections that we do in our country. Thank you, veterans. I, Philip Litz, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office about which I am about to enter. So help me God. Hey, I'm oh. What are you doing down well, here hello, at the Lodi Veterans Nice Plaza. to see you. Nice to yeah, see you. Hey, remember, Colonel Liz, he comes to Oakwood every year for our Veterans Appreciation Ceremony to tell us and explain to us about what he did when he was in the Air Force. Hi kids, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's a, what, but it's not even Veterans Day. What no, are you doing here? It's not. I was in a, a, a church function a little bit ago. I had my uniform on, and I decided that I needed to come to the Veterans Plaza because uh, I come here at least once a year. And I come to, came today to celebrate the reenaction of when I first was commissioned in the Air Force back in 1967. I've done this every year since. Wherever every I've been. Year? How long is that? How many years? We are coming up on 54 years. Oh my God. And wherever I've been, whether it's active duty or retired, I put my uniform on 
I sign the flagpole, I stand there, salute, and I repeat the oath. It's, it's, it, has, it has guided me throughout the vast majority of my life, and I just want to honor honor it that way. Well, that's what I did. Wow, that's really cool that you do that every year. I didn't know that you did that. That's, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, it's, it's just a... It's a, it's a fun thing to do and it takes me back. And when I'm doing this, I remember all of the people I served with, the ones who are no longer here, the ones we lost in Vietnam. And it just makes me grateful that we're in a country where I can come down and do this. And, and, and it allows us to do this. Well, I, I know it's not Veterans Day, but we don't have to say it just on Veterans Day. But I appreciate your service to our country and our freedom. I really do appreciate it. And Thank I'm you. sure all the kids do. And we're going to miss, because of the COVID, we can't be on campus. So I'm glad I ran into you That's, here today. It was, I'm glad you did too. But that was it awesome. It was a great day. And hopefully we'll be able to see you next year. Yes, Thank on you. campus. Have a, have a great day. Happy Veterans Day. Bye, Bye. Ms. Litz. Bye-bye.